Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm looking at the Leviton T5635 wall USB socket. We can see this is a two USB-C port type device. We can see that same CSA safety listing on there. And we can see that this has some power delivery profiles on it. So we can see it does, uh, you know, 15 volts, nine volts, five volts. We'll check all that out. And we can see it's compatible with all kinds of different ports and everything, so. It should be a fun device to test. It looks like each port can deliver 30 watts, but the total for the device is also 30 watts. See those two USB-C ports? And it does say on the front 30 watts max across the both ports. And the class two is, is talking about the isolation it has between the mains and those USB-C ports. Overall, this shares some similar um, kind of qualities to the other outlets. You can see it's very chunky on the back, so it does take up a lot of space in the box. It's a similar type thing where you're not going to have a lot of room to put other wires inside the box. So it's really one wire in to this outlet, and that's about all you can fit in there. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the scale out. The outlet weighs 135 grams. Packaging with the user manual weighs 17 grams. Again, taking a look at the user manual, just kind of a rough overview. Very, very similar to the T5633 device. Uh, this one does talk about the volts and power it can put out on each of the ports, though. And it does give you some little things where it says, you know, once one, once both ports are connected, each port will only output 5 volts at 3, regardless of power delivery capability. That's something I did test and noticed that you only get 5 volts if you use both ports. And the reason for that is the 3 amp max at 5 volts is going to give you 15 watts. So you're still staying within the power capability of the device by staying at 15 watts. So let's get it wired up and put it in the box. Same procedure as every single time. So we got it powered up now. We can see the idle power consumption is very, very low. And we see that the idle um, VA, the apparent power, is actually pretty high. So 0.63. That's on the high side. I'd like to see that a little lower, but... <laughs> the USB-A port doesn't fit. I have to use an adapter to connect my ultra-low test load. See, this basically has no effect on it. The numbers essentially stay the same. All right, let's plug it into the USB decoy and try some different test modes out. So first thing we see is 5 volts. Push the button. Takes it up to 9 volts. Push the button again. You can see it takes us up to 15 volts. Push it again. We're back to 5 volts. So this device does operate on the different modes that are specified for power delivery. You can see that just by having the power delivery device connected, it actually ends up using more power because it has to power the microcontroller on this board, but also, yeah, to maintain 15 volts versus 5 volts, it looks like it's activating some circuitry inside of the actual outlet itself. Let's go ahead and put some load on here. We see 15 watts, no problem. 1 amps, 15 volts. Just take it right to the max. 30 watts. Absolutely no problem. Handles this easily. So each port can handle 30 watts, which is a nice advantage over some of the other devices we've seen where they limit each port to 18 watts or a lower value. This can actually do the full power on each port. Ah, one at a time, not both at once. And you can see right away, as soon as we connect another load to it, it immediately shuts off because it can't handle the extra 30, the extra couple of watts on a second port. It can only handle 30 watts on the one port. And looking at the overall results for this one, we can see that the efficiency curve peaks out around 50 and 75%. You know, at 100%, you can see it starts to taper off, but you see from 10% all the way to 100%, it's 87% or more efficient. So this is actually a very high efficiency device. We can also see that the power factor pretty much stays flat across this region. The THD does decline as it gets higher in load, which is typical of this type of power supply. You can see that the power quality actually stays pretty high across all of the, the different numbers. So even at idle, it's 37, which is like among the best in class. This device does suffer from similar issues as the other power wall mount uh, outlets in that the apparent power is actually fairly high, even at idle. So you can see the very, very low power factor at idle. When comparing with the other devices, we can see that the T5635 is basically the best-in-class device um, amongst everything that's been tested so far. It has the highest power quality for both idle and for the combined, and this has a very, very, very low idle power consumption. So when looking at this on the graph, we can see it's pretty far to the left side of the screen and also towards the top of the graph, which is exactly what you want to see. When we look at the under load test, we can see that the power consumption's towards the towards the right side of the graph, but that's okay because it is a higher power class device. Remember, this is a 30 watt rated device, but we can see that the power quality is actually at the top uh, amongst all these other devices. So that's a, it's a good sign. So overall, this is a great device. This is a, you know, the best in class of everything that's been tested so far. So if I were to recommend one of these power adapters, the Leviton T5635 would definitely get the go ahead. And actually I'm going to be installing this one in my, uh, 
in my house right now because uh, this is the best in class that I've found. So I did purchase this on Amazon and it was about $41 US. So it's kind of not a surprise that the most expensive device also ended up being the best performing device. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, click the buttons. You know you want to. The best way to help creators like me is to share our content with others. Join me for another video in the near future, and I know there's going to be more of these. Thanks again, and bye.